Welcome back to another video with Yarn as a Second Language. Today, I am super excited to bring you guys this video. We are going to focus on Red Heart. I walked in the store with a mission, as you can see, and I can't wait to get into it. So if you like this type of videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And I'm pretty sure if you like walkthrough videos, you are gonna love this video. So I'm gonna try to bring back the excitement, reel it back just a little bit, Princeton. Um, so I focus on Red Heart for a couple of reasons. One, that's where I began. When my grandmother taught me how to crochet, she taught me with Red Heart. And for a long time, all I thought was out there was Red Heart. <laughs> so I'm, it's kind of like I'm going back, you know, I'm going back to my roots. And also Red Heart has a million options. They have a million different colors. I mean, everything you can think of. So if you look at the top of the label right there, you'll see that Red Heart shows two, two different ways to pull the yarn, either from the outside or the inside, the center pull. And Nikki and I did a poll recently and the number was so lopsided. The majority of you all pull from the center of the yarn. And personally, I'm a little surprised by that. I mean, I shouldn't be because I used to do it that way. But recently, I've been pulling from the outside of the yarn because I absolutely despise yarn barf. I don't like dealing with it. It just wastes my time. So, but the majority of you do pull from the center. So I was kind of surprised by that. So let's go ahead and talk about this yarn a little bit. So right now I'm looking at the Super Saver Ombre. Um, they had a lot of different colors to select from. Um, if you like this type of yarn, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button. <laughs> Click. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. It does help us out quite a bit. So I'm over here in the ombre section, and um, like I said, there was plenty of selection. And I believe, I'm hoping, yes, I do pick up that green one. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And well, it may have already passed depending on when we, when we release this video, but that would be an awesome yarn to make a St. Patrick's Day project out of. I believe in a second I want to pick up some, yes I am, some jumbo stripes. Now this has a lot of color and it is a bold choice, but I love it. I love just bold colors. Um, I love things that just pop out and this definitely takes the cake on that. As you can see from the sign, all the yarn, excluding Red Heart Super Saver yarn, is 25% off. Um, I did not really go in the store with the intention of buying anything and I actually stuck to my guns here and I did not purchase anything today. I went in solely to do a walk down for you all because, well, I'll be a little bit more honest. I went in there to do a walk, a walk through for me as well because I am a huge Red Heart fan and this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So. It was for you, it was for me, it was for us. So as you know, I am at Joann's. Um, they're not really known for having low prices, but like for instance, I believe this ball of yarn right here is $3.69. Plus don't forget you get that 25% off. I don't believe that one is a super, it is a super saver. So maybe that was not 25% off. But, I mean, you still get quite a bit of yarn. I believe that one was 265 yards. I can't remember the grams. Yeah, I went too fast to see it. Maybe on this one, I'll, we'll be able to see it. So there's 141 grams. Um, that's not that bad. I mean, to me, it's not that bad. I think it's a fair price. I, it would be great to take advantage of that 25% off, but I know that Joann's also is known for having coupons on their app. So if you don't have the app, and many of you have told me about the app, you may want to go ahead and get that because that is free money. Right here, you guys know my struggle with pooling. Uh, I actually bought this yarn and a couple more I'm going to show you um, in a second. I've already bought them. And if you watched our previous podcast, you will know that I have failed... <laughs> at 
successfully pooling my project. I am still struggling with this. I'm still working on it. It's not something I'm gonna give up on. That is actually the other one that I bought. I believe I bought three. Um, you guys have been great with your suggestions and I'm definitely trying them out. I think it's just something I'm doing wrong that I've got to figure out. Well, obviously Princeton, it is something wrong I'm doing that I got to figure out. Um, I'm gonna try using different size hooks now. Um, a lot of you gave me that suggestion and I'm thinking that might work because I don't know. I just feel like that will work. So you can see there, the, um, there is another sell three for $9. So I am going to figure out this pooling thing. I am going to show you guys and we are going to celebrate in victory together. Now this one right here I thought was uh, pretty cool. I like that blue tone, you know, the, I love the different shades of blue on this one. Um, I did write this one down. I will be purchasing this one in the future because um, I think that would be really cool to work up as a hat. Um, or even a scarf really, Something, some kind of long project I think would look really good. I believe I'm about to pick up some pooling. Yes, so that is the other pooling yarn that I had purchased. Um, I haven't tried working with that color yet. I've only tried pooling with two colors, which I did not succeed in. So I'm gonna leave that one alone until I successfully get one of the other two colors and then I'll play around with that one see if I can get that one to pool up. As some of you do know, I also speak Spanish and I believe this color here was fall, I believe. Yes, fall or autumn. And otoño is how you say fall in Spanish. So every time I see a, you know, a name in Spanish also, it just kind of, I remember it. Check that out. Like I said before, those bold, bright colors. I'm here for it. So I thought that looked really cool. Um, and I believe, yes, that one there, I believe we've shown this one in the past. I can't remember. I know that one behind that, the, um, the black with the neon colors. I know we've shown that in the past, but this one is pretty awesome too. I know I'm kind of going through these kind of fast. And I'm trying to show you all the price. The price is pretty much the same. I do show a price um, when I move to a different style of yarn. And I'm trying to show you guys how much yard did you get and the label, but there was just so much and I did not want to make this video an hour long. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm moving a little quick. Um, if you do want us to take more time and make a longer video, comment down below let us know we do not mind doing that we just don't want to make anything longer than we have to make it because we know you guys are busy we all got lives and um we want to be respectful of your time so but if you do want to see a longer video let us know we will be more than happy to do that for you all If you notice, we are still in the super saver section and the video is much more. We are going to get into different types of red heart yarn very soon, 
But if you notice, we are still on the Super Saver. That's how much Red Heart this Joann's had. We did do a little bit of the pooling, but they only had a couple colors. But we're still on that Super Saver. You know, Nikki and I, we read every single comment on all of our videos, and we appreciate you guys commenting. We really do. Um, many of you have thanked us for doing these walkthrough videos because some of you can't get out in public for whatever reason, and you feel as if we took you shopping. Well, we appreciate you telling us that because that is exactly what we're trying to accomplish with these videos. We want you to feel like you are with Nikki and I at Joann's or Hobby Lobby or wherever, wherever we're at shopping. We want you to feel like you're there. We want you to feel like you just touched the yarn and put it back and, you know, you're shopping with us. So we appreciate your comments. Um, you guys have shown us appreciation for taking um, or making these videos and you feel like you're shopping with us. But we appreciate you all telling us that. Because to me, I feel like, okay, mission accomplished. So thank you all for commenting that. Speaking of Miss Nikki, she obviously is not here with me today um, while I'm doing this video. But hopefully very soon we will do another walkthrough video with Miss Nikki. I know a lot of you really like watching her straighten up the yarn. <laughs> And I enjoy poking a little bit of fun at her about it. So, but she will hopefully be joining us in the next one. Now, this one right here, this is Red Heart Heat Wave. And I did a little bit of research on this. And apparently, the colors of this yarn somehow attracts UV rays when you're outside. And it traps the heat in the yarn, making this feel as if it's... It says it's heat generating, but it's not really generating heat. But I believe it is capturing some of those UV, UV rays, which makes things feel a little bit warmer. I was very interested by this. Um, I'm not completely convinced, <laughs> but it's a cool concept. I mean, they... they they may have something going here that I'm not understanding and it actually does generate heat through the sunlight, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And it felt, it still felt soft. Um, I wouldn't mind wearing this against my skin. You know, I, I, as I'm doing this voiceover, I realized <laughs> I am still amped up. I'm sorry if my voice isn't uh, nice and smooth and soothing like it usually is. I hope this is still a relaxing video for you all to watch, but I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm trying to hold back the excitement. I may have had one or two, um, too many Topo Chicos earlier, <laughs> but I apologize. I know usually this is a nice soft and smooth and just a, a nice little voiceover um so I'm, I'm sorry for having a little bit of excitement today all right as you can see we have moved on to the red heart with love um this was a little bit different than their super saver it felt softer it actually felt more like a, a premium yarn as you can see there the price did go up to $5.99 so it's a little bit higher than the super saver and I can tell the quality difference in the yarn it felt smoother it felt softer um, you still get quite a bit of yarn but you could just tell this was a a better uh, I don't want to say better it is definitely a softer yarn um, you can see there you still get 230 yards so you're still getting quite a bit of yarn for that $5.99 price, but not as much as the Super Saver, obviously.
So as you can see, we are still in the With Love series by Red Heart. Um, one thing I did want to mention is, so Nikki kind of showed me the importance of reading the labels. And I just wanted to reiter reiterate what she had said about it. You want to make sure you read the labels so you know exactly what you're getting. So that is important, especially if you're working on certain projects that require, you know, same dot uh die lot numbers or whatever you want to make sure you are getting exactly what you think you are getting so read your labels everybody so this yarn here unforgettable i have several balls of this yarn and i've worked with it and i absolutely love it it is very soft to the touch it is easy to work with and for crocheters it does just it works well on the hook um, it says on there for crocheters to use a six millimeter size hook I do not see myself using a hook that big for that yarn. It was not thick enough for a six millimeter hook for me. Um, when I um, crochet with this, I typically use a four and a half, sometimes a five, depending on the project that I'm working on. Um, but typically I will use a four and a half size crochet hook. Not sure about the knitters. I would have to ask Miss Nikki about that. But for me, the recommended six is just too big. This one right here that I'm picking up is the exact color that I have. Um, everybody's best friend, Miss Nikki, gave that one to me. And um, I'll have to pull that project out one day and show it on a podcast to show you all what I made with it. But it did work up really nicely and um, it just looked really cool. Now this here, the gemstone, I had never heard of this before. This is new to me, um, but I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it and this did make my list of things to get the next time that I'm there um, it was soft it was thick and I think it would be really fun to work with um, it is a little pricier as you see there it's eight bucks um, but hey there's 25% off but I really enjoyed it I have to um, look into it i don't know much about gemstone and i'm i haven't really well i've never heard of it so i don't know about the reviews and stuff but just feeling it it felt cool and again they had plenty to choose from so i'm looking forward to working with this in the very near future i was just thinking i don't need to read the reviews why don't you guys tell me i'm sure there are many of you who have worked with this so Please comment down below if you have worked with this type of yarn, the Red, the red Heart Gemstone. If you've worked with this, let me know in the comment section your thoughts about it, what you made, how it felt when you're knitting or crocheting, and um, were you pleased with it? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's one of the things I absolutely enjoy about having this YouTube channel. So Nikki and I wanted to create not create, we wanted to um, help the crafting community expand through um, just helping each other out, giving each other advice, you know, create a platform where we can all do that. And I think we're doing a great job of that. So it is awesome to be able to ask you all these questions and get uh, not only good advice and good suggestions, but honest advice and honest suggestions. You guys aren't just going to say anything just to say it. So we really appreciate that. I know I especially do. Um, this is another one that I had never heard of. I uh, I liked it. 
I didn't, it didn't really, there weren't a lot of ideas just popping in my head on what I create, could create with it, but it was very cool. I enjoyed the colors, um, and it's definitely something I would use in the future as well. You know, when I was a kid, um, like many of you, you would hear the ice cream truck run in the neighborhood. Now this color right here reminds me of ice cream I used to get. It's called a two ball screwball. And it was a cone of ice cream. I, the kind I got was always red. And it had a white and blue ball at the bottom of the cone, the two ball. So that color just reminded me of a two ball screwball. Maybe some of you have remember that or heard of that or maybe even had it before. Uh, so let me know in the comment section down below. Have you heard of a two ball screwball and have you ever tried <laughs> a two ball screwball? And I know Miss Nikki is probably shaking her head and rolling her, her eyes at the fact that I said two ball screwball. But come on. Yeah, it's a funny name. That's probably why I picked it as a, when I was a kid. So as we are walking down the aisle, there is one more thing I wanted to show you all, but I also want to say thank you all for watching this video. It's not over, but I thank you all for clicking on this video and watching. This is why I wanted to show you these little minis. And the poor little guy, there's only one left. <laughs> there's only one left. So I did go ahead and pick him up and I did get him. I didn't want him to be alone. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know if you want to see more walkthroughs because we are more than happy to bring them to you. And we will see you all at the next video. Adios.